Have you ever been bought something or bought yourself something that's quite expensive, okay? And you've got it and you've, uh, you hate it. But you, <laughs> you sit there to yourself and you think, I've spent so much money or someone else has spent so much money on this. I've got to like it. <laughs> that's yes, I've been in that same, situation. That's, yeah. That feels the same as the, the way the beers are being with Mitch. It's sort of like, oh, look, we, we did all this. Okay, yeah, we, we skipped on some huge players that could have changed our franchise around. <laughs> um, we see this guy and we see not what we expected in this pick. Um, we could have got him later on, but we're just going to keep at it. And now they've brought Nick Foles in, which, number one, I think it was a stupid move uh, for the Jaguars to do by picking him up. I think the Philadelphia Eagles should have just kept him in Philadelphia where he was a backup. He obviously played in Philadelphia before. He obviously won the Super Bowl in Philadelphia. Obviously, Carson Wentz's situation isn't solid uh, with, his, with his growing injuries and the amount of injuries he's getting. I think he should have stayed in Philadelphia. I don't think he should have gone to Jacksonville because he was he's uh, 31 years of age. Obviously, he was about 30 uh, joining Jacksonville. I don't see the point of getting someone that isn't naturally a starter. Like, let's be honest, Nick Foles is probably naturally a backup quarterback. And he proved that. Like, when I say backup quarterback, I'm talking a good backup quarterback. He proved that in the Super Bowl. Yeah, no, Bowl. very good. Very capable. I mean, one yeah. Super Bowl, yeah. But I don't think he's capable to go into a season. And that's what the Jacksonville Jaguars signed him as, to go into the season. But they ignored Garda uh, uh, Minshew. And they went in the season with him, which I think is stupid. He should have stayed in Philadelphia. Now the Bears have picked him up, which I think was a crazy move in itself because this guy shouldn't be there competing against your quarterback. You think about it. At the time, they had Jamie Swinston and Cam Newton they could have picked up from. And instead of picking... And Teddy Bridgewater. Oh, yeah, and then Teddy Bridgewater was taken by the Saints, but then you had Jamie Swinston, then that was taken. And there's still the option to get Cam Newton now. And, and you go and get Nick Foles. I mean, he should have stayed in Philadelphia. He shouldn't have went to the Jags. But now the Bears have just been crazier than both of them organizations and went, he's older now. Let's bring him in. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit older. He's a little bit worse. Uh, right, he just he, had a major injury. He hasn't let's, even let's, paid. let's keep him for that contract and that uh, $20 million a year. That's crazy. So, so what stops you from bringing in the likes of Cam Newton and complete, like, I, like Cam Newton, he is a player that can, and I'm, I'm not saying this is, like trying to be stupid or trying to exaggerate him. But if you watch the way he played in his best season, obviously when he went to the Super Bowl, sadly lost the Super Bowl, but he was ridiculous. I mean, that guy can play. Oh. Why would you not bring in a guy like him and bring in, bring in Nick Foles? Yes, he's won a Super Bowl, but he's not ever sustained like a proper full season. He's never shown yeah, himself don't. as a starting quarterback and he's old. Why do yeah, you not don't bring in Jamie? You know, or... Nick Foles isn't that, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. And I'm not I'm not out here saying that Nick Foles is a bad quarterback because honestly, I, at the moment, obviously, being a Patriots fan, we've just signed Brian Hoyer. I would rather have Nick Foles on the Patriots than Brian Hoyer.